we got to kind of reason and think about you know what makes sense so what they're asking for is when where does the horizontal asymptote exist now first of all if I look at this I could see that there's a function squared and this like that kind of looks a little bit complicated so the first thing I'm going to do is probably rewrite this like this x squared minus 1 squared and then to the third that's really the same thing as to the 1 third power now that's helpful because in reality, using the rules of exponents, what happens when I have an exponent raised to another exponent? Do you guys remember? What do you do? You multiply them. Well, can we multiply 2 times 1 third? Yeah, that's actually not that bad. So therefore, this is x squared minus 1 raised to the 2 thirds. OK, now I'm just doing one chain rule. I feel a little bit better about this. Would you guys agree? OK. So if we want to find the horizontal tangents, we need to find, or if we want to find the, we want to find the slope, first thing we need to do is take the derivative. So by taking the chain rule, we're going to bring down the 2 thirds, keep the inside function, subtract 1, which would really be 3 over 3. So therefore, it's going to be a negative 1 third. And then times the derivative of the inside, which is 2x. All right. Now, it um, might make, what am I doing? That's 2 thirds. It might be a little easier to look at this in, um, with a negative or with a denominator. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's simplify this. 2 times 2x is going to be 4x over 3. And then I'll take the cube root of x squared minus 1. The exact same answer. I just got rid of the negative and put it down below, right? Because if you have a negative power, you put it in the denominator, it makes it positive. And I'm just rewriting it as a radical. And the reason why I'm doing that is, again, I want to see what we're trying to do. This represents the slope. And we're trying to find the, when the, hor I'm sorry, it's asking for. Find f of x where has the horizontal tangent. So we want to find the values of x where the derivative is equal to 0. So if I want to find where f prime of x is equal to 0. So 0 equals 4x over 3 times you know, the cube root of x squared minus 1. So how do I solve for x? Well, we can't solve for x when it's in the denominator, right? So we would multiply by the denominator on both sides. I'm just going to write this kind of sloppy because hopefully you guys realize what's happening when we do that. That goes to 0, and that goes to 1. Divide by 4, divide by 4, x equals 0. So what that means is at the value of 0, um, the derivative is going to be equal to 0. Right? That's when you have the horizontal tangent. So whatever the graph would look like, who knows what this graph looks like. All we know is our graph. All we know is at 0, there is a horizontal tangent. right? And that's basically what that question is asking and the way we would do it. Now, the next, the next one says find the vertical.